Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. We're having a party. Yo! So we're having a big celebration now. I have hit 100,000 viewers and I just can't tell you how humbled and grateful I am for each and every one of you that watch my videos and uh, and then the subscribe or like or even dislike. That's even a good thing when you dislike. Um, I am just so grateful to each and every one of you. It has meant so much to me to get to know you. Uh, those of you who have written in and comment, you've joined the forum, you've come to the RTR, you're coming to the RTR, you're emailing, you're just connecting with me through the media medium of video and I just can't tell you how extraordinarily grateful I am and humbled that a hundred thousand of you have uh, cared enough to subscribe to my channel and that there have been millions and millions of views of my videos. I just, if you had told that to me a year ago, a couple years ago, when I first started wanting to make videos and making videos, I never would have begun to believe that was a possibility. Uh, I knew there was a need out there and I wanted to fill it. I knew I cared and have compassion and, and uh, concern for so many people out there that are hurting but this kind of success in just over a year my uh, on this channel now I have a kind of a strange history of YouTube I started a YouTube channel you know, four or five six years ago and then never posted anything because I'm not a very smart guy and posting uh, to vid making videos and posting them was kind of hard and so let me take this off so I just did not make any and it just sat there empty I uh, never did a thing with it and then my friend and I Jamie started a channel because he was a whole lot smarter than I am and and he knew how to make videos and so together we made videos and they did really well and people liked them we had a falling apart we had a disagreement and so we separated and then sometime later I started this channel that you are watching now and I'm hope hopefully you're subscribed to a hundred thousand of you are subscribed to you thank you each and every one so much um, and so you are uh, watching that channel I uploaded the first video to this channel on September 30th of 2016 last year I don't believe I would have posted it right away I think I would have uh, uploaded a bunch of them and then once I had a bunch of them up there uh, in October I posted uh, three four five more I believe I actually started the channel in November I think it has been functioning as a channel for just about one full year now um, at any rate a year or a year and a month it's it's been fast to get to a hundred thousand subscribers in a year or in a year and a month um, Wow <laughs> just I really am humbled and grateful I'm grateful that so many of you have found something of interest I'm grateful that uh, I have been able to make some small contribution to your life if all I've done is giving you a channel to, and someone to hate and that's what I've done for some of you oh someone new to hate and to send awful ugly email to if that's what I've done for you I'm grateful if I have inspired you if I have taught you if I have simply educated you and uh, entertained you I mean if all I've done is provided a brief entertainment break from your life I'm grateful for that. I mean, that just means so very, very much to me. Thank you. Thank you, each and every one. Um, the success of this channel has little to do with me. It has so much to do with you. Because you had, when you stumbled, a lot of you just stumbled across. You had no idea about nomadic living or living in a van or living in an RV. Well, you were aware of it, but you never even considered it. And you stumbled across my channel. And a light, hopefully a light went off. And you thought to yourself, you know what? This is something I could do. And so this channel owes everything to your open mind. When you said, wait a minute, maybe I could do that. And the light went on. Uh, and even if I can't do it 
I'm interested. And that, that was an open mind and an openness to new ideas that just speaks so highly for each and every one of you. And some of you have got rushed out, I mean rushed out, bought a van, got your car ready to go, and are on the road. I hear from you. I hear from you all the time. Uh, I'm Bob, I'm coming to the RTR. Bob, I'm going to Ehrenberg. Where do I meet people? And so, uh, wow. And... You know, I wasn't brave enough to do what you were doing. I was absolutely forced to live in a van and kicking and screaming. And so you are, so many of you, so much braver than I was. You have the courage to take a leap of faith. So uh, whether you're just thinking about it or you're doing it, my, I am so grateful to each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This channel is about you. And one of the things I have done, and I've done very little of this talk about me. This channel is not about me. This channel is about you. And I want to focus on you. And I want you to learn. I want you to be entertained. I want you to be inspired. And so and nearly every video is somehow aimed at improving your life uh, in one of those ways. Uh, motivating, inspiring, educating, or just simply entertaining. Uh, and so you are the stars. And uh, if there's been any success, it's because of each and every one of you individually making it happen. So why have I succeeded? And, and uh, you know, there are going to be the haters. Haters, lots of ammunition here. We'll start take notes. All you haters, take notes. Oh, he's so egotistical. He's had success. He's nobody. He's done nothing. I know. It's all true. It all is all true. In fact, in this case, you haters, so few of what, well, so little of what you say is true. In this case, it is true. I am nothing, and I have had no success. It all belongs to you. Uh, but I have 100,000 subscribers in a year is a success, I think. Uh, uh, you could objectively say that. Most people would say that. So what has my success been on? My success has been on the one primary motivating driving factor, and that is to provide hope. Whatever your situation is, whatever you click on my videos, more than anything else, I want to provide you with hope because I have spent much of my life hopeless. And I, I have a deep empathy and compassion for the idea of feeling hopeless in, in a world that is just really kind of difficult. There are four main areas that I intend to bring you hope in. The first is money and finances. I know that after the 2008 crash, our economy has changed and probably changed forever. And so there are many of you out there that are in desperate financial states. And so my number one and primary goal is to offer you folks uh, hope that you can have a good life on the money you have. Some of you are in fixed situations, uh, disability, or social security, uh, fi your finances were wiped out by the crash or, or by health issues. So many of you write to me and tell me about those things. And I want to offer you money hope. You can have a good life with so little money. And uh, that's the number one message I hope to bring to everyone out there. Cheap RV living. Cheap RV. RV living and the RV may be your car but it's still a recreational vehicle and you can have a light a good life of recreation and travel on incredibly little money I know people who live well in their vans or cars or old trailers for five or six hundred a month and everything I do has that as a as a ultimate goal there are people that watch this channel that have money and they do want to live well and I want to provide something for them too. I want to provide my audience as broad an audience as possible as much as I can. So the number one hope I, prov I hope to provide to each of to you is money. The second group of people, and it may be the great vast majority, is people who are just looking for more out of life. I mean, even if you have, even if you're broke and you're just living on 500 a month, you're still looking for more out of life. Maybe you've got plenty of money 
but you're still not satisfied. There is a dissatisfaction with your life. That's why you're on YouTube and surfing around and looking for more. You're looking for a better life because you're dissatisfied for whatever reason. And I'm not going to, to try to say that I know what your reason for being dissatisfied is. I'm just saying you're looking. That's why you're poking all around on YouTube and why you stumbled across my channel. You're dissatisfied. For those of you who are dissatisfied with life, I hope to provide you a sense of adventure that word adventure is way overused, although I do intend to bring to you a sense of adventure, something more, something better. Uh, and in that word adventure is the subword venture, which means to travel forth with an unknown destination and unknown end. Uh, there's an element of risk to a venture. So that's the second group of people. You were dissatisfied with your life and you're just looking for more. I want to give you the opportunity to have that more and in a way you can afford it and if with the minimum amount of risk. I mean, if you have the money and you go out and buy a minivan, well, the chances are you can you can uh, take your travels and take your trips in the minivan and you find out you hate it, you can probably sell that minivan for what you've got into it. You've lost almost nothing. So the risk is pretty minimal, but the gain, what if you get out there and you love living in your minivan? You love the simplicity you love the freedom you love the sense of adventure and I can wake up and go anywhere I want today uh, and so there is a huge reward and minimal risk for many of you and uh, that's what I'm offering you, you a sense of adventure a sense of questing a question and that's what most of you are doing on YouTube you're questioning your life because you want a new quest. You want a new venture. You want a new adventure. I've got it for you. It's living in a minivan or a van or an RV or even in a car or pulling a little tiny trailer. Uh, I have something to offer you and that's why you're here and that's why there are 100,000 subscribers to my channel. Maybe I can do that. And so uh, maybe I can have a good life on even as little money as I've got. And that's what I'm offering you, hope. Uh, and then th uh, a third way I'm offering you hope is that many of you feel alienated. You feel lonely. You feel like you don't fit in. Um, and so to you, I'm saying there's a group of people. You're not alone in feeling that way. There are, there are thousands of us. A hundred thousand of you, I believe, have subscribed because for some degree you're looking for a connection, a tribe, a community. And that's the hope that I'm offering you. You can come and find a group of misfits that feel just like you do and have that same urgency and need for a quest, for adventure, for an adventure, and you can do it together. And you don't have to be alone in it. You don't have to be alienated, surrounded by people in a in a, a house or in a town and feel all alone most of the time. Be in a group and feel alone. So a lot of what I'm offering you is the hope of connection, of community. And it's here for you if you want it. And here, coming up in just a couple months, at the RTR in Quartzsite, Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, they're going to be, I bet there's going to be a thousand of us feeling exactly like you do. And you're going to be afraid that you'll still be alone in that thousand. I can almost guarantee you won't be. You will not be alone in that thousand. You will make the connection. It's up to you to make the effort. It won't happen automatically or magically. It's going to take some work on your part. But I think it will be the easiest time in your life to make a connection. I'd be surprised if for the vast majority of you, nearly all of you, you will make that connection. You will make lifelong friends. You will not be alone anymore. Think about those little few words. You don't have to be alone anymore. Okay, and now finally, some of you don't are never going to leave your house and you know what? Uh, you just want to live vicariously. You just want to have more something in your life right where you are. And for those of you, you are welcome. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. If I have made your life a little better by coming into your home through the medium of video, through YouTube, I'm so grateful. That's 
all I can ever ask for out of life. I have made another human being's life a little better. I brought them a little joy, a little hope. And I'm going to do, I'm planning on doing many more um, traveling videos and scenic videos. Um, when I was in Colorado, I went rappelling, and I'm working on a video now of me going rappelling. I'm gonna go start doing those things more for those of you who want to live vicariously. I have so concentrated on educating and inspiring that that part has been, I think, uh, neglected. And so I'm going to put a lot more emphasis on, let it, oh, for those of you who just wanna live vicariously to, to serve Serve you a little better than I have in the past. You need hope too, and I want you to have it. And uh, you know, if if you've never gone repelling, and you probably never will go repelling for whatever reason, you can go with me, <laughs> and uh, we'll do it together. So we're going to do those things, and I'm going to make it a point to do all of those things that I possibly can in the future. Okay, so that's it. I'm offering you hope. Now I want this to be very, very clear that my success has very little to do with me. Uh, success on YouTube is about making a connection. It's about being honest and open and genuine. And I want you to know that all of my life, I was incapable of making a connection with others. I was incapable of being open and honest with almost, I was never a liar, I never deceived. I was just so closed off inside, both to myself and to others, that I was just, I had so many walls built around me that there couldn't be a connection with others. There couldn't be a genuine honesty with you about who I am because I had no idea who I was. I wasn't honest with myself. I could not be honest with myself. And that all changed uh, when I followed the spiritual path that I follow. So I attribute everything good in me and in my channel to a higher power. It was given to me as a gift. It wasn't something I did. It, was, it may have been something I was born with, um, and was there all along, but I built so many walls around it you couldn't possibly, I couldn't possibly find it. Following a spiritual path, following a higher power, allowing the higher power to work in my life with as much as I possibly could, with as much surrender and trust and faith as I possibly can muster to this very day, uh, surrender, trust, and faith in a higher power and humility before a higher power remains the only important thing in my life. If I have that, I have everything. If I lose that, I have nothing. I have nothing for myself. I have nothing for you. So uh, I want you all to know that it's all came as a gift. Nothing, none of the credit goes to me. The credit goes to you as my audience and it goes to my higher power as the source of every good thing in my life. So let me close here. As always, you know, this should have been a short, brief uh, video on th uh, thank you. And of course, it's turned out really long. I'll stop already. <laughs> let me throw some more confetti in the air. I've already got a great big mess in the van. So let's throw lots of confetti in the air. Yay! 100,000 subscribers. We'll talk to you later.